What is up, everybody? It's been a while, but it's time for episode number 120 of the Ridge Hunter Outdoors podcast. I'm going to talk a little bit about why it's been two weeks since we've had an episode out. Hopefully, you guys have been sticking around and listen. got one in mind. Uh, there's some really good content out there from years past around this time of year on shed hunting, around pre-planning for food plots and stuff like that. All that kind of stuff you guys can go back and listen to as well. But we're back. We're going to start with this episode. It's just me today, so it'll be a little bit of a shorter episode. But we've got some exciting news, too. I'm really, I announced this on our social medias today, and I want to talk about it. we got some good things coming up for you guys. I'm going to get into that as well. And then we'll get out of here. It'll be a quick episode, but we're going to get back rolling on things here with number 120. This is the Rich Hunter Outdoors Podcast. Just follow us, leave us a review. All right, so as we do get started here, again, apologies for the last two weeks. It's been kind of crazy schedule-wise, getting stuff done. We finished up with our show schedule for the spring with the Illinois Deer Classic, which was a great show. I think our last episode was actually at the Illinois Deer Classic, so you guys can go check that one out if you want. We talked a lot about that show, where it's been, where it's come to this point, where we think it's going, what we enjoyed about it, all that kind of stuff. It was actually a really great show, I thought, and we plan to go back next year. But now we're done with those until the Deer and Beer Fest in August, and we'll talk a little bit more up soon. To it, keep you guys updated on our booth number and all that. We'll have Cole Thompson on again. He's the one that runs the show, so he can tell you guys about what all is coming up. That's going to be a really good one. Michael Waddell is going to be there. All the big bow dealers are, or bow manufacturers are going to be there. It's going to be an awesome show up there in Bloomington, so we're looking forward to that. But again, we'll get into more of that as we go along. Uh, but for the last two weeks, we've just kind of been, one, recuperating from that, um, I've been trying to get some guests on, get them lined up. I mean, we've been having trouble with schedules and stuff. Just everybody's so busy, which is a good thing. It's a good problem to have when you're busy. You know, you got things going on. That's usually a positive. So I'm going to still try. I've got two guys that we've been trying to work with and get things lined out and just has what our process is. We'll talk. I think the last time we were supposed to record with one of them, we had a tornado come through. Uh, we had a tornado warning anyway the night we were supposed to record. So last thing I wanted to do was get in here and have the power go out, which it did. The power did go out, so I'm glad we didn't start trying to record. Uh, so we just decided we'd reschedule, and we haven't been able to find another day since then. So I will have those guys on at some point. It's just going to be a matter of getting schedules lined up and everything like that. We are going to bring you a guest on next week. That's the plan as of right now. We're supposed to record with them this weekend and then bring you that episode on Monday. I think it'll be a good one. We're supposed to have Luke Oswald back on from the Publicly Challenged podcast, along with his co-host on there. So I'm sure we'll get into kind of what they did this past season. And we're going to get into some foraging stuff for sure, which is a good time of year for that kind of stuff. If you guys are into the, you know, mushroom hunting or any kind of foraging, really, he's the guy to talk to about that. Those guys are experts in that field. And it's really interesting, even if you're not that into it, just listening to them talk and learning about that kind of stuff. I think it helps you just kind of be a better woodsman as well, which is something that we talked a lot about on the last three full draw Fridays that we did, talking about turkey hunting was just your, your woodsman skills and how those come into play. And I think anything you can do to get out there in the woods and find an excuse to be out there as if you need one and figure things out is a good one. So that'll be coming up on Monday's show. That's the plan for right now. So like I said, sorry we haven't been on the last two weeks. We usually don't miss two weeks in a row. It's been a while. Um, we're gonna, I'm going to get this one out to you guys. Again, it's a, it's even a day late, but this will be, get us back rolling here. We'll have, a, again, a guest Monday, and then I'll start trying to plan out some more guests. Maybe we can get one of those two guys on. I've got a long list of not only returning, but new guests that we've met at these shows. So that's one thing I really do enjoy about doing the expos and stuff is getting to meet other people within the industry and then some cool people that we get to talk to later on on the podcast and kind of learn things from them. So I do have some of those coming up as well. And then, like I said, we'll have some return guests on too. We've got some exciting stuff coming up. Usually I like to do one of these updates every few months or so, just especially if it's one of these where I'm, I'm just going to be all by myself. We don't have a guest. Just kind of update you guys on Ridge Hunter Outdoors, you know, where we're headed, some things we have coming up. Um, so we've got some, we've got some exciting stuff. We have an event coming up in May that I will keep you guys posted on. That's going to be a really great opportunity for you guys to 
I think, learn about not only habitat management and stuff, but also hunting strategy. We're going to go over several different things. We're going to, like I said, I'll, I'll let you guys know the details on that as soon as they are fully available, but that's going to be a good opportunity and to meet some of you guys that are listeners and all that too. So make sure you stay tuned for more info on that. That's You can get on our Facebook page and Instagram as well. That we'll announce it on there. So if you're not following us, it's Ridge Hunter Outdoors at either of those places, and you can stay up to date on some stuff that way too. If you guys are looking for your own piece of ground to manage and hunt, Rodney Hawkins is a guy you need to talk to. He grew up hunting and fishing in southern Illinois, and he's now putting that love for the outdoors into selling recreational properties as a land specialist with Midwest Farm and Land. Midwest Farm and Land isn't your average real estate company. They do residential properties, but they also do a ton of recreational property sales as well. Rodney himself sold over $7 million worth of properties last year alone. They've got agents like him all over Illinois, so they're really a local company with a national reach. For more info on them, what might be available, or even getting your property listed if you're looking to get rid of one and maybe get into something else, you can contact Rodney directly at 618-925-3153, and he'll get you taken care of. He's also got his own company called RG Outdoors that currently has products from Radix Hunting, Tat Cam Trail Cameras, Camo Dust, and he's adding new stuff all the time. So if you're interested in any of that, Go over to their Facebook page, RG Outdoors. Email them at rgoutdoors at yahoo.com. Or again, just call Rodney directly at 618-925-3153. We've got the vlogs coming out right now. That's kind of our off-season series for Fall Pursuit. So a lot of shows you see, they have like their their show during the season or their show from the last season. If, if they post like what they hunted last fall, they posted it this fall or whatever. And then they'll go into the off season and they'll have some kind of off season series. Like it's an official kind of like we do our fall pursuit. It would be something different and it would just be episode one episode a week that comes out and shows what all they're doing in the off season. We don't really do that. I don't have the time to edit in the summer like I do in the fall, which not that I have a ton of time to edit in the fall, but I have even less in the summertime with the taxidermy stuff. So we do vlogs. They're usually pretty short. Some of them are, I mean, two minutes long. Some of them are maybe 10 minutes or 15 minutes, but Jeff's got a couple of them up now. So you guys can keep up with what's going on on his property. I've got one in the works. It's actually in the queue right now to go up soon. Our first one of the year from the cabin. We got some new projects coming up there that you guys can keep up with. We got one that I got the video for. I got to get put together for Blake and Nate on their stuff. I'm going to get with Dusty and do some videoing with him on some of his hinge cut stuff that he's been doing, maybe some new food plots, stand locations, things like that. But essentially, it's our version of an off-season series. So there's no real schedule to it as far as when the episodes are going to come out or anything like that, like our Fall Pursuit come out on Tuesdays. There's really nothing that goes with that because we're working around work schedules and everything with when we can get stuff done and get it filmed. So it's basically just when we film it, and when I can get it edited, it goes up. That's Some of them are a day after we do it. Some of them might be a week or two after we, after we get stuff done. So it does give you guys a, a chance to see what we've got going on, though. And I try to keep it as close to when we do it as possible. So if you have some of the same stuff going on, maybe it'll help you out. Maybe making decisions for what you want to do or you know, deciding how to do something, things of that nature. Hopefully it does provide some educational, for lack of a better word, element as well and I try to add that into the vlogs that we do we try to explain not only what we're doing but why we're doing it so maybe it does help you guys out and also a little bit of entertainment and then as we lead into fall pursuit you guys will have the backstory on where we're hunting like you'll see a spot especially there at the cabin for example you can see us do all the work on that the new plot was a big one from last year it's videos on it so you can kind of follow the whole story not just one hunt where we shoot a buck hopefully but you can see all the work that goes into killing that big buck. That's really, as much as anything, what I like showing on the vlogs is just how much we have to do because, you know, killing mature deer consistently, having opportunities at them at the very least is a 365 days a year thing. You can't just wake up on October 1st and decide you're going to go do it every year. You got to put the work in, the effort, no matter whether you're hunting public ground, if you're hunting private ground, permission land, big farms, small small acreage, all that stuff you got to put the work in. And I feel like we have a good mix of that on the vlogs as well. So we got those coming out every, you know, one, generally it'll be about one a week, but it might be more than that some weeks and then the next week not have any. But you guys can keep up with all that stuff on our YouTube channel. It's Rich Hunter Outdoors. And make sure you subscribe so you do know when that stuff comes out, especially since we don't have the schedule with that. So it'll give you a notification. 
that a vlog video came out and you won't get you won't have to miss anything. If you guys plant food plots and you don't know who Grandpa Ray Outdoors is, you need to look him up. They specialize in providing the best nutrition for white-tailed deer on your property, starting with the soil. They've got a full line of high-quality food plot seed and plant foods with over 14 different food plot blends to choose from. You won't have any trouble finding what you're looking for. They've got fall and spring blends, corn and beans, switchgrass, liquid fertilizer, soil test kits, you name it. When it comes to planting, they've got it. They're not just about selling their products, though. They were started in 2015. John, the owner, has been in the business since 1991. So with that knowledge that he's acquired, he's going to be able to answer any questions you have about what blends would be best for your specific property. That way you can achieve the best results possible. Like us, John and his team don't believe in a cookie-cutter approach to wildlife nutrition. They're going to treat you and your situation individually. We've used tons of their seed on client properties, on our own properties, and the results have always been as good, if not better, than advertised. That's why we partnered with them in the first place. If you want to, go to GrandpaRayOutdoors.com, use the discount code RHO Podcast. that's all lowercase, no space, and you get 5% off your entire order there. You guys need to go check them out if you care about getting the most bang for your buck when it comes to your food plots. Some more exciting stuff we got coming up is the turkey hunting videos. Season starts next Monday is our first season here in Illinois. I'm going to try to get out and go some with Tyler if I can, do some videoing with him. If not, then I believe I have second season. I have, I have third season. Yeah, I've got a third season permit. Nate and Kaylee both have permits as well. I'm not sure what seasons they got. I know Dad's got fourth season, so we're going to have some turkey hunting content coming up, hopefully throughout the season, and I will try to do that similar to the vlogs. When we get it filmed, as soon as I can get it edited, I'll put it out. It won't be anything like Fall Pursuit as far as the, it won't be as produced as that. It won't be as structured, I guess, for lack of a better word again. But we'll kind of put those up as we get them. Hopefully we'll kill some birds this spring. It'll be a lot of fun. We'll get some good video. Hopefully we had troubles getting kill shots on video for deer. So maybe we can do it with a shotgun on a turkey at least. We'll see how that goes. I'm excited about it. This is my third year turkey hunting. I've been fortunate enough to kill a bird the last two years, the first year with Nate. Last year, I, I got got it done by myself, so that was cool. It would have been great video if I had someone with me. So we've got some good setups for videoing, and I think it'll be good to get out there. This will be Dad's first year turkey hunting, so that'll be fun. Not Even if we don't get any video, it's going to be fun to get out there with him and see if we can get him a bird. We've got a few spots where we know they're at typically, and... These last three weeks of Fall Pursuit have helped me. Hopefully they've helped you guys too, but they have definitely helped me with what we're going to be doing this year as far as strategy and calling and tactics and things like that go. So I'm excited about it, and I'm excited to share it with everybody on the video side of it. And again, that'll be on the YouTube channel. Will not be as structured or scheduled as Fall Pursuit. So again, make sure you hit the notification bell so you know when our turkey videos come out too. Those may be coming out with the vlogs just depending on how... Everything falls, so that's something else that's that's coming up that I think you guys will enjoy. So just some more content for you guys, and in that content, this is this is a big announcement that I made on our social media today that I've been even more excited about. The off season is upon us, and we all know that the path to success next season starts now. To consistently harvest mature bucks, you need to make the most of the upcoming months, and to do that, you need a solid plan. That's where we can help. If you guys want to improve your property to reach its full potential for wildlife, reach out to us about a consultation. We'll spend time getting to know your property and your goals for your deer herd and use that knowledge to develop a wildlife management plan that will help make the most out of the ground that you have. You can contact us through our website or social media to get started today. And that's our new partnership with Flambeau Outdoors. If you guys don't know who Flambeau is, I don't know where you've been. They're a pretty established company. They make some great products that are, I would say, affordable for the common deer hunter. And again, they're great products. It's not like, you know, it's you're paying for, you're, it's not like you're paying nickels and dimes for some piece of crap. It's still, I mean, it's it's priced right, but it's also really good quality products. They've got decoys for about any kind of hunting that you can think of. They make decoys for it. They have, of course... Hard cases for guns and bows and crossbows and things like that. Weapons storage is kind of another one of their big specialties. They do have some calls and stuff like that through uh, mad game calls and things like that. We're partnered with them on just on the Flambeau side right now. So we're going to be running some of their turkey decoys this spring. You'll get to see us using some of those on that. 
their gun cases. They've got a new uh, new bow case that they just came out with this year that we got to see at the ATA that we're going to get, and it's it's really slick. I think you guys are going to like it. We'll try to do some maybe some product videos on those, especially like the bow case. Just some quick stuff to let you guys know what they have. And then we're going to be using their deer decoys this fall, which is maybe, I think that's probably what I'm excited about most. The turkey decoys are, are going to be cool too because, like, that's, in my opinion, that's like essential, especially a lot of the turkey hunting that we do around here in these flat grounds and the bottoms. Decoys are so important, which is something that I wish I would have talked about now that I think about it on the last one we did with Sean, the last full draw Friday. But anyway, I feel like they're so important to the style of turkey hunting that we do where we're at in this flat ground. So I'm really excited about using those, but probably the most excited about using their their new scrapper buck decoy, their doe decoy, and of course the the original boss buck decoy. I think those are going to be really fun to use this fall. I've got some spots that I think set up great for decoying. I know Dusty's had a lot of success with decoys in the past, so he's got some good spots. Me and Jeff and Dad were just talking today about a spot that they hunt. That's going to be really good set up for decoys, and we could get some sweet video, I think, of some deer coming in and working those decoys. So I'm really excited about that, getting those things out there and just seeing how they work and bringing all that to you guys. So you're going to see us using their products on our videos, and that's going to be fun for us to bring some of that stuff to you guys. It's just another another really great company and great people that we get to work with. This is something that has been in the works since the ATA show. We actually got to meet Dante with Flambeau. We got to meet him at the ATA show, talk to him. He's an awesome dude. We've, I've used their products for years now, especially duck hunting. I've used their duck decoys because, again, they're affordable, but they're not cheap, if that makes sense. They're not cheap made for sure, but like the common man can afford them. So it's not going to break the bank for a dozen duck decoys. It's not going to break the bank for a doe or a buck decoy. Same thing with their cases. They have some that are more expensive than others, but then they have some great options that are not as expensive. And that's something that I really appreciate about what they're doing um, is they're making it to where normal people can afford to use these things and give them an advantage out in the woods. And we talked about it before. Hunting a lot of time, a lot of places is getting to be kind of a rich man's game and We'll probably do some podcasts or talk about this at some point in the future because I know the other guys have thoughts on it too, but with all the leasing that's going on now and all the product placement advertisement that you see on TV and on the YouTube shows that is basically all about marketing and not necessarily about the product, and because of that, they can charge so much more for it because they just they basically create demand with their marketing, which as a business model, that's great. I mean, they do a good job with their products, getting them out there and, and creating demand for them, but it's not always the actual product that creates the demand and how good the product is. And I think the companies that we're working with, that's the case for them. The product is what drives the demand because it's such a good product. And again, with Flambeau, it's, the price too is is hard to beat on them. So I don't want to... I've said this before, I'm not going to tell you guys to use something. I'm not going to promote something that I wouldn't use, something that I don't believe in. You know, I'm not going to tell you to go use, spend your hard-earned dollar on a piece of crap just because they're paying us the most money. That's that's not how we're ever going to do things. That's not how we've done them in the past. That's not how we're doing them now with Flambeau. Again, this has been in the works since January. We've been kind of talking back and forth about stuff and, and getting the details ironed out, and I've been holding back on announcing it, but... Now we finally get to, and I'm pumped about it. I'm I'm looking forward to bringing all that stuff to you guys on YouTube and what it means for our, our brand as well and Rich Hunter Outdoors. It's going to be just another step in making this thing bigger and better. You know, these, these partners that we have allow us to do what we do now, and, you know, the more that we can continue to partner with, the more, there's more great brands out there that I'd love to work with, and some of them, again, we have some conversations with some other companies as well that we'll be hopefully announcing sometime this year and that's the stuff that helps us make not only the podcast but fall pursuit and anything we do on youtube it allows us to make that even better content for you guys to enjoy and you guys can help us with that too like if you do if you're looking for some decoys or something or if you're looking for a new bow case or a new gun case order it from flambeau and let them know that you heard about it on from Ridge Hunter Outdoors. That stuff really helps us out. If you're if you're going to buy them anyway, 
I'd encourage you to go use our partner's products. Same thing with the seed. If you're, a lot of you guys are buying food plot seed anyway, go to Grandpa Ray Outdoors and get your seed there. And then use our discount code RHO Podcast or just tell them that we sent you. And that really helps us out. And you don't even have to spend any extra money that you weren't going to spend anyway. And you're getting a really good, solid product. And then in turn, that helps us make better content for you to enjoy. And everybody's looking for more good content. That's something that consistently at these shows we hear is we'll ask people, hey, you listen to podcasts? And yeah, man, I'm always looking for another good podcast to listen to. Like I, We hear that a lot. Same thing with YouTube. You guys watching any YouTube? Yeah, man, we're always looking for new shows to watch. Everybody wants, you guys all, I want more good content to watch. And that's how we create it is especially through our partnerships and what they allow us to do. So if you guys want that, if you want to help us out, you can go do that. I mean, go to Flambeau, go to Grandpa Ray Outdoors. Uh, if you're looking for any products that Rodney carries, go to him and tell us that we we sent you over there. You know, if you're in the market for land or something, even, tell him that you heard about him on Ridge Hunter Outdoors podcast or the YouTube or anything like that. Um, that stuff really helps us out. And again, it doesn't cost you any extra money. And if you enjoy the show, we really appreciate that. And of course, just tuning in, telling your friends about us helps too. But these partners are are ones that we've built relationships with. We're not just, again, it's not just about a check that they're cutting us. It's about a relationship with them. And that's why it's a partnership and not just a sponsorship with us. So again, really excited about working with them, working with Flambeau now. And again, an established company like theirs is going to be really, I think it's going to be great for both of us, both companies. And I think it's going to be great for, for everybody that's consuming our content as well. You get to see some new awesome products that we're bringing maybe you hadn't seen before or maybe you don't get to see up close and personal like hopefully we'll be able to show you guys. Um, and we got some more more companies that we're going to be working with, like I said, too. Hopefully here in the next few months we'll be bringing you guys as well. So, hey, everybody, I appreciate you tuning in for another episode. If you don't already, go over to Instagram and Facebook and give us a follow at Rich Hunter Outdoors. We also have a private Facebook group called Ridge Hunter Nation where you guys can have some input on the show. You can ask us questions. You can ask upcoming guests questions. You can tell us who you want us to have on and what you want us to talk about. And on top of all that, just use it as a regular hunting group. Share your stories, your success, pictures, your failures, whatever it is. That's all at Ridge Hunter Nation on Facebook. Our website is RidgeHunterOutdoors.com. That's where you're going to find more info on the consulting and management services that we provide. We also have... The podcast posted on the website with some other content as well. And we have our merchandise and our food plot seed. And if you find any of that stuff that you want, make sure you use the discount code RHOPOD. That's all caps, no space. And you get 10% off your entire order there. If you're listening on Apple Podcasts or Spotify or anywhere else that lets you do so, make sure you rate and review. That helps us and give us a follow there too. YouTube, our channel is Ridge Hunter Outdoors. You can subscribe to that, hit the notification bell so you know when everything comes out. The podcast will be posted there, as is our Fall Pursuit show, which we'll have more of coming up next season. You guys can go back and rewatch everything that we did this year. We had 10 episodes on that. We're hopefully going to do some turkey hunting this spring, and of course, we'll have all our off-season content on YouTube as well. So thanks to everybody who already does follow and subscribe. If you don't, make sure you go do that. Now let's get back to the episode. That's just one other thing that that we're trying to do. You know, obviously we started this podcast to maybe put some good information out there for you guys that are listening, maybe trying to sift through Facebook groups or stuff you see on TV or other YouTube channels and see what's good and what's not. Hopefully we're helping you with that. But also now, you know, showing you guys what products actually work, what's actually good. And if stuff doesn't work, we'll tell you that too. I have no doubts that anything we use is, uh, from our partners, I mean, it's all going to be good stuff. That's why that we're partners with them. But like, if we're using something that isn't a partner or we're not partnering with them for a certain reason, like we'll tell you guys that stuff too. And we're not just going to come out and blast some company. We'll give everybody crap every now and then, you know, for different things. Sure. But we're not just going to blast some company because they don't make a great product. But if you ask us, we'll be honest with you. So I'm just, I'm happy to be able to bring that stuff to you guys and, and grateful that they're willing to work with us where we're at right now. It's been, gosh, over two and a half years now, I guess, since we started the podcast. And if you'd have told me that we'd be working with a company like Flambeau, you know, in 2024, I'd have been, I thought we were doing okay. So hopefully we can keep going on this. Like I said, the turkey videos, I think will be good. We got those coming up. We got the off season series for lack, you know, for 
our version of uh, off season series anyway with the vlog so you guys can keep up with that and then we'll be rolling into fall pursuit again before you know it i mean it's going to be that time so again this is a shorter episode today i appreciate everybody that tuned in we're going to be back to normal episodes with guests here coming up next week and then i'll try to get back on a regular schedule with them as far as uh, bringing a guest on every week and then we'll do full draw friday as well i think we're going to have a good full draw friday episode this week so make sure you stay tuned for that and we'll catch you guys then if not then we'll catch you on monday hopefully with luke oswald from publicly challenged so thanks for listening and we'll see you then